Welcome to another test from the DMV practice tests. In this video we are going to test Georgia DMV practice test. For answers and explanations check the description below and our website for more tests. Question number 1. You are going to make a left turn from a dedicated left turn lane when a yellow arrow appears for your lane. You should a. Speed up to get through the intersection. b. Stop and not turn under any circumstances. c. Be prepared to obey the next signal that appears. d. Go through the intersection since you have the right of way. Question number 2. When you see this sign, you must a. Stop completely, check for pedestrians, and cross traffic. b. Slow down without coming to a complete stop. c. Stop completely and wait for a green light. d. Slow down and check for traffic. Question number 3. From top to bottom, the following is the proper order for traffic lights. A. Red, yellow, green. B. Red, green, yellow. C. Green, red, yellow. D. Green, yellow, red. Question number 4. When passing a bicyclist, you should A. Blast your horn to alert the bicyclist. B. Move as far left as possible. C. Remain in the center of the lane. D. Put on your four-way flashers. Question number 5. This sign means A. No U-turn. B. No left turn. C. No right turn. D. No turning. Question number 6. What does it mean when a school bus is stopped and its red lights are flashing? A. You may pass if no children are on the road. B. You may not pass while the red lights are flashing. C. You may pass if you are facing the front of the bus. D. You may not pass if it is on the other side of a divided highway. Question number 7. After a train has passed, you should A. Wait for a green light. B. Proceed across the tracks. C. Blow a horn and proceed. D. Check again for approaching trains and proceed with caution. Question number 8. A rectangular shaped sign is A. School crossing sign. B. Railroad crossing sign. C. Stop sign. D. Speed limit sign. Question number 9. If your turn signals fail, you should use blank to indicate you are turning. A. Your horn. B. Your headlights. C. Hand signals. D. Your emergency flashers. Question number 10. Seatbelts can be most effective as injury preventive devices when they are worn by A. The person driving the car. B. Passengers when they are on a long drive. C. All occupants of a car being driven on an expressway. D. Passengers and the driver whenever they are in the car. Question number 11. To avoid accidents, drivers should communicate with each other by A. Signaling when changing lanes slash direction, slowing down or stopping. B. Using their horns in emergencies and when really necessary. C. Using emergency flashers slash flares slash signs as needed. D. All of the above. 
Question number 12. A broken white center line on the roadway means A. No turns are allowed. B. Reduce your speed ahead. C. You are in a no passing zone. D. You may change lanes with due care. Question number 13. You have the right of way when you are A. Entering a traffic circle. B. Backing out of a driveway. C. Leaving a parking space. D. Already in a traffic circle. Question number 14. If you drive after drinking, you should be aware that the first thing alcohol affects is A. Your hearing. B. Your alertness. C. Your vision. D. Your judgment. Question number 15. If you see this sign above your lane, you, A, may not exit the freeway in this lane, B, may continue through the interchange or exit the freeway in this lane, C, may stay in this lane and continue through the interchange, D, must exit the freeway if you stay in this lane. Question number 16. When parking your vehicle facing uphill with a curb, you should point your front wheels, A, into the curb, B, away from the curb, C, either into or away from the curb, D, straight ahead. Question number 17. What kinds of drugs, other than alcohol, can affect your driving ability, A, an allergy medicine. B. Marijuana. C. A cold remedy. D. All of these choices. Question number 18. A green arrow showing at the same time as the red traffic light means A. Vehicles going in the direction shown by the arrow must stop. B. Do not go in the direction of the arrow until the traffic light turns green. C. You may go in the direction of the arrow with caution. D. Road closed ahead, go in the direction of the arrow. Question number 19. You can drive in a carpool lane if A. You have the minimum number of passengers shown on the sign. B. You are driving an empty 15 passenger van. C. You want to pass the vehicle ahead. D. You are in a rush. Question number 20. One of the rules of defensive driving is A. Look straight ahead as you drive. B. Stay alert and keep your eyes moving. C. Expect that other drivers will make up for your errors. D. Be confident that you can avoid danger at the last minute. Question number 21. When the road is slippery, you should A. Drive carefully, and avoid making fast turns and sudden stops. B. Drive fast to overcome the slippery condition. C. Pull over and wait until the road dries before proceeding. D. Turn on your headlights while driving. Question number 22. You should not use your high beams within blank feet of an approaching vehicle. A. 100. B. 300. C. 500. D. 800. Question number 23. When a large truck is turning right onto a street with two lanes in each direction, it, A, must turn onto the right lane. B, must turn onto the left lane. C, may have to make a wide swing to complete the turn. D, must speed up before the turn. Question number 24. 
Where should you start your turn from if you are turning left on a multi-lane one-way street onto another one-way street? A. The lane closest to the right curb. B. The lane closest to the left curb. C. The slowest lane. D. The center lane. Question number 25. Alcohol can A. Impair your judgment. B. Reduce your reaction time. C. Reduce your ability to recover from glare. D. All of the above. Question number 26. In Georgia, unless otherwise posted, what is the maximum speed limit when driving in any urban or residential district? A. 30 miles per hour. B. 35 miles per hour. C. 40 miles per hour. D. 45 miles per hour. Question number 27. Prescription or over-the-counter drug can A. Reduce the effect of alcohol B. Multiply the effect of alcohol C. Cause drowsiness D. A and B Question number 28. What are the colors used for signs telling you the distance to the next exit on a highway? A. Yellow background, white letters B. Blue background, white letters. C. Green background, white letters. D. Black background, white letters. Question number 29. What should you do if your vehicle begins to hydroplane? A. Brake suddenly. B. Speed up. C. Take your foot off the gas pedal slowly and slow the car down. D. None of the above. Question number 30. If a school bus is stopped on the other side of a divided highway separated by a barrier, you should A. Drive as usual. B. Stop and do not proceed until the bus driver instructs you to. C. Slow down and watch for children. D. None of the above. Question number 31. What should you do if you have to use cellular phones while driving? A. Do not talk on the phone while drive, text message instead. B. Keep your phone within reachable distance. C. Use hands-free devices and keep both hands on the steering wheel. D. Answer the call as you normally would. Question number 32. What does a traffic light with flashing red signal mean? A. Slow down. B. Stop. C. U-turn. D. Speed up. Question number 33. When alcohol and drugs are combined in your blood, A. The effects of both increase. B. The effects of the drug increase. C. The effects of alcohol increase. D. The effects of both decrease. Question number 34. What does a white diamond on a lane mean? A. The lane is HOV lane. B. The lane is for emergency vehicles only. C. The lane is for passing only. D. None of the above. Question number 35. To pass a bicyclist you should A. Move as far as possible to the right of your lane. B. Move as far as possible to the left side of your lane. C. Speed up while passing a bicyclist. D. Honk at the bicyclist to warn him or her. Question number 36. Under what circumstance could you drive off the paved road to pass another vehicle? 
A. When the road only has one lane. B. Under no circumstance. C. When the vehicle in front of you is driving too slow. D. When the shoulder is wide enough for you to drive on. Question number 37. Which gear should you use if you want to back up? A. Drive. B. Reverse. C. Neutral. D. Park. Question number 38. If you are convicted of unlawful passing school bus, you will be assessed A. 3 point. B. 4 points. C. 5 points. D. 6 points. Question number 39. Which of the following does blood alcohol content back not depend on? A. How much you drink? B. You body weight. C. How much time have passed since you drank? D. How fit you are? Question number 40. What should you do if the traffic light changes from green to yellow as you are approaching an intersection? A. Speed up and drive through the intersection as quickly as possible. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop before the intersection if it is safe to do so. C. Brake hard to stop immediately. D. Be prepared to stop after the intersection. Question number 41. What is the first thing to do when you are involved in an accident where the other driver is injured? A. Give aid to the injured driver. But do not move him slash her. B. Call the police. C. Drive away. D. Hong to get others' attention. Question number 42. When entering a freeway, you should A. Stop and wait for an opening then enter the freeway rapidly. B. Slow down and then enter freeway at a sharp angle. C. Accelerate quickly to freeway speed and merge with the traffic. D. Drive slowly and wait for an opening in the freeway traffic. Question number 43. If two vehicles enter an intersection at the same time, one turning left, the other going straight, which party has the right of way? A. The driver turning left. B. The driver going straight. C. The driver who is driving faster. D. They both have right of way. Question number 44. What should you do if you have to use cellular phones while driving? A. Do not talk on the phone while drive, text message instead. B. Keep your phone within reachable distance. C. Use hands-free devices and keep both hands on the steering wheel. D. Answer the call as you normally would. Question number 45. How do you make your vehicle more visible in bad weather? A. Honk. B. Turn on your headlights on. C. Turn your interior lights on. D. A and B. Question number 46. Which of the following is most important when driving at night? A. Drive very slowly. B. Drive within the range of your headlights. C. Use high beams at all times. D. Keep your signal on for at least 30 seconds after changing lanes. Question number 47. What must you do if the traffic light is not working? A. Continue driving. B. Slow down only, no need to stop. C. Stop, and proceed when it is safe to do so. D. Stop, and let all other vehicles go first. Question number 48. 
Eight-sided sign means A. Stop. B. Yield. C. Railroad crossing ahead. D. Warning. Question number 49. What should you do if you miss a freeway exit? A. Call the police. B. U-turn and proceed in the opposite direction. C. Get off at the next exit, then locate the freeway entrance going the opposite direction. D. B or C. Question number 50. If you have moved, you must notify DDS within blank days. A. 30. B. 40. C. 50. D. 60. Question number 51. Before pulling out from a parking space which is parallel to the curb, you should A. Check traffic and blind spot by looking over your shoulder. B. Signal. C. Sound your horn. D. A and B. Question number 52. If you are convicted of speeding between 15 to 18 miles per hour over the speed limit, you will be assessed. A. 1 point. B. 2 points. C. 3 points. D. 4 points. Question number 53. What does a traffic light with flashing red signal mean? A. Slow down. B. Stop. C. U-turn. D. Speed up. Question number 54. A green arrow showing a red light means A. Yield to vehicles and pedestrians, then proceed carefully. B. Stop. C. You have the right of way. D. None of the above. Question number 55. If you are convicted of operating a vehicle while text messaging, you will be assessed. A. 1 point. B. 2 points. C. 3 points. D. 4 points. Question number 56. What are acceleration lanes on express was used for? A. Drivers to reach the proper speed before merging with the expressway traffic. B. Drivers to stop before accelerating and merging into the expressway traffic. C. Drivers to stop and wait for a traffic opening. D. None of the above. Question number 57. How many alcoholic drinks does it take to affect your driving? A. One drink. B. Two drinks. C. Three drinks. D. Four drinks. Question number 58. What should you do if you have a green light but the traffic is blocking the intersection? A. Stop and proceed when the traffic clears at the intersection. B. Enter the intersection and wait for the traffic to clear. C. Slowly enter the intersection. D. None of the above. Question number 59. What should you do when you hear a siren but could not see the emergency vehicle? A. Slow down. B. Drive as usual. C. Stop immediately on the road to see where the emergency vehicle is. D. Pull to the curb and look around to see where the emergency vehicle is. Question number 60. In Georgia, unless otherwise posted, what is the maximum speed limit when driving on an unpaved county road? A. 40 miles per hour. B. 35 miles per hour. C. 30 miles per hour. D. 
25 miles per hour. Question number 61. To pass a bicyclist, you should A. Move as far as possible to the right of your lane. B. Move as far as possible to the left side of your lane. C. Speed up while passing a bicyclist. D. Honk at the bicyclist to warn him or her. Question number 62. What does a flashing yellow traffic signal at an intersection mean? A. Stop and wait for the light to turn green before proceeding. B. Slow down and cross the intersection cautiously. C. Slow down and honk. D. Stop. Yield to all cross traffic before crossing the intersection. Question number 63. When are you not allowed to pass? A. After midnight, before sunset. B. When the vehicle ahead is stopped for pedestrian. C. When you are driving on a one-way street which has more than one lane. D. During rush hours. Question number 64. If you are convicted of speeding between 24 to 33 miles per hour over the speed limit, you will be assessed A. 1 point. B. 2 points. C. 3 points. D. 4 points. Question number 65. Who must you always obey while driving? A. Police officer. B. Doctor. C. Your passengers. D. All of the above. Question number 66. On average, 12 ounces of beer could be cleared in your body in about A. One half hour. B. One hour. C. Two hours. D. Three hours. Question number 67. If a school bus is stopped on the other side of a divided highway separated by a barrier, you should A. Drive as usual. B. Stop and do not proceed until the bus driver instructs you to. C. Slow down and watch for children. D. None of the above. Question number 68. How can you prevent drowsiness on long trips? A. Listen to music. B. Sing. C. Talk on your phone. D. Stop for rest periodically. Question number 69. In emergency situations, you should A. Think before you take actions. B. Leave as soon as possible. C. Act according to your instincts. D. All of the above. Question number 70. On a two-way street with no curb, when parking uphill your front wheels should be A. Turn towards the street left. B. Turned away from the street right. C. Straight. D. Parallel with the edge of the road. Question number 71. When should you signal if you want to turn right? A. At least 100 feet before the turn. B. At least 200 feet before the turn. C. At least one intersection before the turn. D. As least 300 feet before the turn. Question number 72. If you are convicted of first offense of violation of child safety restraint, you will be assessed. A. 1 point. B. 2 points. C. 3 points. D. 4 points. Question number 73. Which of the following represents a slow-moving vehicle? A. 
An orange diamond shaped sign. B. A blue triangle sign. C. A red circle sign. D. An orange triangle sign. Question number 74. What does a white diamond on a lane mean? A. The lane is HOV lane. B. The lane is for emergency vehicles only. C. The lane is for passing only. D. None of the above. Question number 75. When could you pass another vehicle on the right? A. When it is waiting to turn left. B. When it is waiting to turn right. C. During rush hours. D. None of the above. Question number 76. You can always cross a single broken white or yellow line except A. When you are interfering with traffic by doing so. B. When you have more than one passenger in your vehicle. C. When you are driving slower than traffic. D. None of the above. Question number 77. You need to yield right of way to A. Vehicles entering a traffic circle. B. Vehicles exiting a traffic circle. C. Vehicles already in a traffic circle. D. Vehicles leaving a parking space. Question number 78. If you are convicted of possessing an open container of alcoholic beverage while driving, you will be assessed. A. 1 point. B. 2 points. C. 3 points. D. 4 points. Question number 79. What should you do if the traffic light changes from green to yellow as you are approaching an intersection? A. Speed up and drive through the intersection as quickly as possible. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop before the intersection if it is safe to do so. C. Break hard to stop immediately. D. Be prepared to stop after the intersection. Question number 80. When turning right, you should slow down and A. Start signaling 100 feet before the turn. B. Change into the left lane. C. Honk. D. Turn on your headlights. For answers and explanations check the description below and our website for more tests.